Tori Babcock comes to this Kenny Bunk Fitness Center twice a week. She's getting ready to compete in the Try for a Cure. Today, she feels good. Good job. But every day is different. And it's just, it's constant doctor's appointments and scans and blood work and follow-ups. Tori has multiple endocrine neuroplasia type 1. It's a rare genetic disease that causes tumors on the endocrine system. The majority of them are benign, but some can be cancerous. So there's a lot in our family, like close family. She's inherited it. Her grandfather, father, her siblings, many of her nieces and nephews, and one of her kids has it too. Tori had genetic testing done when she was 19. Then came the formal diagnosis. My kids, they know like, all right, mom doesn't feel good, so we're cuddling on the couch today, or we're laying in bed and watching a movie because she doesn't have the energy to, to do this today. Last year, she competed in the try to honor her sister, Jill, whose tumors metastasized to her liver. But two weeks before the event, doctors found Tori's first cancerous tumors. I passed somebody that was yelling on the sidelines, like, you got this, you're doing great, you're almost there. And I just decided, you know what, this is nothing compared to what I have to do in front of me. Like, I'm not going to let this stop me. She had surgery and continues to recover. This year, she'll jump in the ocean with the cancer survivors, a group no one wants to join but is proud to be part of. Tori has advice for people with friends or loved ones who are fighting their own cancer battles. Everybody's saying, how can I help you? Let me know if I can help. Let me know if I can help. And there's really not anything anybody can do. And so just that check in to say, hey, I'm thinking about you. How are you today? Can can make somebody's day and make it a little bit easier. Tori will keep coming here even when she's exhausted and not feeling up to it. She has to be ready to take on the race course for her sister, her family and herself. Tori and Jill were planning on doing the triathlon together this year, but an injury will keep Jill from competing. We do know the sisters plan to cross the finish line together. In South Portland, Lauren Bradley, WMTW News 8.